American Tomahawk and Indo-Russian Brahmos are two of the most well-known cruise missiles in the world. Cruise missiles are used primarily for land attack roles as well as anti-ship missions. Tomahawk is a long-range, all-weather, jet-powered subsonic cruise missile. It was designed and initially produced in the 1970s by General Dynamics. Currently, it is manufactured by Raytheon. Brahmos is developed jointly by India's Defense Research and Development Organization or DRDO, and Russia's NPO Machinostroyenya. The name Brahmos is a portmanteau formed from the names of two rivers, the Brahmaputra of India and the Moskva of Russia. Block 5 Tomahawk and Brahmos ER are the latest iterations of these missiles. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how American Tomahawk compares to Indo-Russian Brahmos. The two missiles will be compared in six categories. Let's get started. Before we proceed, a word on NordVPN, which is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that has a no-log policy validated by Deloitte, an industry-leading Big Four auditing firm. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that protects your privacy by preventing external entry to your internet traffic, as well as enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Best of all, with one NordVPN account, you can secure up to six devices at the same time. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal with massive savings by going to nordvpn.com defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Tomahawks can be launched from surface ships using Mark 41 vertical launching system, submarines, as well as transporter erector launchers. It has not been integrated into any aerial platform. Brahmos can be launched from a transporter erector launcher or surface ships, and the air launched variant, Brahmos A, has been integrated into the Su 30 MKI fighter jet. The missile currently has no submarine launched variant. The category is a tie. Tomahawk has a matured navigation system consisting of GPS, INS, TURCOM, DS MAC, and active radar homing. The missile can fly at a height of 30 to 50 meters from the ground to evade detection. Brahmos has INS and SATNAV for mid-course guidance and active radar homing for terminal guidance. One of its special features is its ability to fly extremely close to the ground to avoid missile defense systems. In fact, during the terminal phase, the missile can fly as low as 10 meters to the ground. While Tomahawk has a CEP of 5 meters, Brahmos has a CEP of 1 meter making it more accurate. Brahmos has a slight advantage in this category. Tomahawk is powered by a turbofan engine using TH dimer fuel and a solid fuel rocket booster. Block 5 variant is thought to have a range of about 1,000 miles or 1,600 kilometers. Brahmos has a two-stage propulsion system it uses a solid-fueled rocket motor for the first stage and a liquid-fueled ramjet engine for the second stage. The ER variant, tested recently, is thought to have a range of 560 miles or 900 kilometers. Tomahawk has a much larger strike envelope and hence has a noteworthy edge in this category. Tomahawk is a subsonic missile having a speed of Mach 0.7. The main USP of Brahmos is its speed. The missile has a speed of Mach 2.8 to 3. Higher speed makes interception harder since the reaction time is lesser. The air defense systems will have around four times smaller time window when they try to shoot down an incoming Brahmos as compared to Tomahawk. Supersonic speed also enables a weapon to engage time-sensitive targets. Brahmos has a distinct upper hand in this category. 
While both missiles can be equipped with conventional or nuclear warheads, they are most likely to be used with a conventional payload. So we're focusing on that. Tomahawk is designed to have a 1,000 pound or 450 kilogram warhead. Block 5 currently has two variants, 5A and 5B. The Block 5A variant is called Maritime Strike and has a warhead that's geared towards destroying enemy warships. Block 5B has the JMEWS or Joint Multi Effects Warhead System. The new warhead was first announced in 2010 and tested in 2014. It is a two stage warhead that combines blast fragmentation and enhanced penetration in one warhead. It will be able to destroy a wide variety of targets, soft targets like parked aircraft, as well as hardened ones like bunkers. Ramos carries a 300 kilogram or 660 pounds semi armor piercing warhead. There are limited details regarding this. While the warhead is crucial, it is also to be noted being twice as heavy and almost four times as fast as the Tomahawk, the Brahmos has more than 32 times kinetic energy. The missile is known to break ships in half in several tests. The advantage in this category goes to Brahmos. Tomahawk Block 5 costs around $2 million. The unit cost for Brahmos ER is $4.85 million. So for two Brahmos, five Tomahawks can be acquired. The main reason for the lower cost is that the serial production of the Tomahawks has been going on for a long time and everything is streamlined. The missile has also been exported in significant numbers. Bulk production drives down costs. Ramos is being exported to the Philippines, its first customer. The country is supposed to get three batteries of the supersonic missile system. While the missile has received interest from several countries, it has still a long way to go. Tomahawk wins this category. As evident from the score, Ramos wins. The fact remains that no country barring a few, like the US, China, Russia, Israel, and India, has defenses in place to intercept Abramos. For example, India has Barak 8, which has been developed jointly with Israel and possesses characteristics that make it suitable for taking down a maneuvering, low-flying supersonic cruise missile like Abramos. Even for these countries, the reliability with which they can take out Abramos under different circumstances is suspect. Tomahawk being subsonic can be reliably defended against by many modern air defense systems as tracking is much easier and there's time for multiple interception attempts. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.